a law to regulate religious activities in the country has started in earnest after the Senate formed an ad hoc committee to propose laws aimed at bringing sanity in religious institutions. In a motion moved by Majority Whip and Kakamega uh, Senator Boni Halwale, the Senate has mandated 11 member committee to investigate circumstances leading to the death of followers of Good News International Church. Investigate role, uh, the role played by controversial pastor Paul McKenzie, his pastoral team, and the Kilifi County Security Team, established through the Office of the Registrar of Societies, the number and activities of religious groups in the country, and to audit the legal and registration framework for religious organizations in the country. Elizabeth Mutoku with the details. Senators have started the process of formulating laws which will see regulations of religious activities in the country amid Shakahola horrific discovery where 103 bodies have been exhumed so far. The Senate decried of how leaders of religious institutions are taking advantage of Gulibo Kenyans and especially children, the latest incident leading to the deaths of more than 100 Kenyans. The whole of Kenya, particularly children of this country, will be waiting for an outcome that can ensure that their rights in the Constitution, their rights under the Article 43, their rights under Article 53, their right to compulsory education are protected at the end of this uh, uh, um, uh, assignment. In a motion moved by Majority Whip and Kakamega Senator Boni Halwale, the Senate has mandated the 11 member committee to investigate circumstances leading to the death of followers of Good News International Church, investigate the role played by controversial Pastor Paul McKenzie, his pastoral team, and the Kilifi County Security Team, established through the Office of Registrar of Societies, the number and activities of religious groups in the country and to audit the legal and registration framework for religious organizations in the country. Yesu of Dongaren in my home is a problem, come for him. And if you are coming for Yesu of Dongaren, this is the time speaking for this Senate that I'm privileged to serve in. We are only 47 elected and 20 nominated. There are millions of Kenyans who would love to be here today. Because of this privilege, I now want to stand tall on the shoulders of the poor of this country and say that people like the so-called war of some other church should also be propped. Manaspika, tunasema ya kwamba kuna wengine ni azao ni safi. Lakini wengi wao tumekuja tumeona sasa kwamba ni kwa sababu ya pesa. Na hizi pesa zinaonekana sasa zimeanza kupita mpaka mpaka sasa zimeingilia kwamba wale tunaweka mbele katika madhabahu wameziweka mbele sana mpaka zimekuwa kama shetani wana speaker kuna umuhimu wa kuomba sheria mwafaka zizingatiwe na ziangaliwe and don't say those people are stupid those who followed i'm only saying it's only that we never came across maybe that person mr speaker maybe one of us will be in that uh, shakaholo today as we speak so to protect the honorable members to protect the, the 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 people of this country we need pastors to be going a, a rigorous exercise before uh, they are given uh, their license mr speaker further the committee will also be required to develop legislative proposal on regulation of religious activities in the country and make any other recommendations that will prevent religious organizations from extreme indoctrination of their followers including radicalization spiritual and financial exploitation and i recommend that this committee visits rwanda to ask the question what did the president of Rwanda do when his country was faced with a mushrooming of religious organizations that were actually business entities? Madam Speaker, the House and the country is looking up to this committee. Elizabeth Mutuko, TV 47. Now. Well, thank you, Elizabeth Mutuko.